So guys, for the first method, you're gonna head over to search and type in wsreset.exe. Click on it. This will reset the Microsoft Store, see if that works for you. And now for the second method, you're gonna head over to search and type in change user account control settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, make sure that you have this set to the second bar. Set it to the second bar, like how it is on my screen, and then click on OK. And then click on Yes. See if that works for you. And now for the next method, you're gonna head over to search again and type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you're gonna click on check for updates. Make sure the computer is fully up to date. And now for the next method, you're gonna head over to search and type in Microsoft Store. You're gonna right click on it and then click on app settings. Now once you're on this, you're gonna scroll down and then click on terminate and then click on repair. Wait for this to load. See if that works for you. If not, you're gonna click on reset and then click on reset again. Wait for this to load. See if that works for you. And now for the next method, you wanna head over to search again and type in find and fix problems with Windows Store apps. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you wanna click on advanced. Make sure you have apply repairs automatically selected and then click on next. You just wanna go through this, wait for this to load, see if that works for you. If you try all of that and the problem is still not fixed, just try simply restarting your computer and then hopefully one of the methods that you completed earlier should fix your problem.